So as some of you may know, every single iPhone out there has some really cool features that almost every single person probably wants to go ahead and utilize. Now, there's one particular feature I've seen a lot of people be a little bit confused about, and that is optimized battery charging, AKA the battery charging that you do outside of your regular battery charging. Now, every single iPhone out there basically has this type of capability, which allows you to go ahead and essentially like you know, charge your device but almost every single device now does have some sort of optimized battery charging, which will basically help the longevity of your iPhone battery. So why do you even wanna enable this in the first place? And what's the difference between this and regular charging? Well, optimized battery charging basically gives you the capability of going through and reducing the amount of wear within your particular battery. So under battery health and charging of your particular device, so basically what optimized battery charging does is that it will go ahead and your iPhone will learn your charging. It will learn your charging habits when you charge your device, for how long you charge your device, different things like that, and it will go ahead and fast charge your device up to 80%. Now, after 80%, after that, it will trickle charge back up to that you know full 100% after that 80% is done. Now, the reason why this is so important is that it actually will go ahead and reduce the amount of battery aging on your particular device. Now, the reason why this is so cool is that this particular device will go ahead and essentially, like I said before, learn your charging habits, it will learn what you do. And the reason why that is so important is that it will go ahead and basically go through and reduce the amount of battery aging on your particular device, which is so cool and so important. Now, the reason why I have it on is because I'm not really needing to go to a lot of places at one time. So I typically will go ahead and keep my iPhone on its standard battery charging. And then from there, it will do what it does best. And from there, it will go ahead and just charge up my device up to 80% and then trickle charge up to you know 100%. This increases the longevity of these iPhone batteries, so I don't have to go and replace it. But even with having it on, after about two to three years, my iPhone is actually on about 86% battery health, which is actually not really the best thing ever because what ends up happening is that after two years, about 14% battery degradation, I mean, I'm still looking at a fairly large amount of battery degradation for a device with optimized battery charging on. And it's just one piece of the puzzle. I'm always keeping my iPhone in like hot conditions. I do a lot of like heavy intensive stuff on my phone, so it's always overheating. And that's just kind of what happens when you're getting a device like this because it just doesn't really do that great of a job if I'm always keeping it in hot conditions, if I'm wireless charging sometimes. So that's just kind of what happens when you're getting devices like this. So personally for me, what I basically have to do is that I have to go ahead and essentially just try my best at you know trying to keep it as good as possible. And so what I have to do is I have to try my best of just trying to keep my device in cooler conditions. But what ends up happening is if you actually have this thing off, let's say you have optimized battery charging off, as long as you keep your iPhone in pretty cool conditions, as long as you're charging your iPhone and not overcharging it over past 100% and you're not dying this iPhone all the time, you could relatively keep it off and you probably will have a really decent experience on your iPhone. If you plan on keeping your iPhone for only a year, then it doesn't really matter if you have optimized battery charging on or off, to be honest. If you're charging it and you're uncharging and charging and uncharging it throughout the day, you might just wanna keep it off. But if you do plan on keeping your iPhone for many, many years, you are probably in a better situation if you just go ahead and completely turn on optimized battery charging, if you turn on clean energy charging and keeping your iPhone in optimized conditions, things like, you know, not super hot conditions or super cold conditions. And that will probably give you a better experience overall than keeping your iPhone in always hot or super cold condition. So that is just my two cents. That's kind of the main difference between standard charging, regular charging, and optimized charging. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, not me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.